defensive backs against the five wide receivers. And they've got a couple of linebackers out there on third and nine. Griffin, well protected. He exploits the middle of the field and finds Kendall Wright. Right down the sideline. Can he stay in bounds? <laughs> Reaches for the pylon, and he's in. Touchdown, Baylor. What a play by Kendall Wright. He is number two in America in yards per game. Number three in average per catch. He has been terrific. Yeah, the first thing, so much time out of the empty set for Robert Griffin. Let's see if he stayed in bounds. Well, it's going to be replay review, that's for sure. It blew that extra point dead to have a chance to review it. Just before the extra point attempt, the replay booth buzzed down, and we will take another look. Again, the ruling on the field was that he stayed in bounds. So there has to be indisputable video evidence to say that he went out of bounds. That and is, boy, it looks like he stayed in bounds the whole way. That's one of the best plays I've ever seen. You talk about balance, tight roping that sideline. He stayed in bounds. That was an incredible show of athletic ability right there by Kendall Wright. There's not many athletes in the country at any level, Bob, that could have stayed in bounds right there like he did. I mean, look at the lean at the end to extend the football across the pylon. That is a great athletic play by Kendall Wright. Again, the ruling on the field, the touchdown. So since the precedent was set, you have to have indisputable video evidence to overturn it. And they might say that the play on the field is confirmed, which means that they know, based on replay, that he definitively stayed in bounds. They might say the play on the field stands as called. That basically means that they didn't have a look one way or the other. Look at the balance. To overrule. Though. Go try to do that right there. I'm not you, Bob. I know I, I know neither one of us could do that. I, but what an athletic play. That play's gonna stand.